Welcome to this MOOC about STM32U5 Hardware Unique Key. The STM32U5 integrates many new security features. One of them is the Hardware Unique Key. It's a protected and pre-provisioned cryptographic key unique per device. In this presentation, I would like first to show you the security problematics that could be addressed thanks this mechanism. Then we will go into details of implementation to understand how this key could be used thanks the Secure IOS Crypto Accelerator. Let's start with the example of a company which has developed an innovative product. This is our innovative company. It has developed for months a new product which embedded variable data and algorithm. When this one has been tested and validated, the production starts. Then the company starts to sell this product all over the world. And this product was a real success. But the drawback of this success is that some hackers start to have a deeper look in this product. Hackers managed to find some security weakness in this product. Exploiting this weakness, they were able to extract the variable data or algorithm. And then will sell this information on the dark web. So our innovative company has lost all its investment in research and development. Additionally, if our hacker has some production capabilities, he can produce clone devices and sell them, destroying all the market of our innovative company. So the question now is how to address this problematic of confidentiality and cloning. First, let me propose you a STM32 device with an embedded pre-provisioned cryptographic key. This one allows to encrypt decrypt data in a secure context which prevents any leakage. Of course, this key is hidden in the device and can't be recovered in any manner. Now, our innovative company will use this new mechanism. At production level, when the code executes for the first time, it could use a pre-provisioned key to encrypt any valuable asset in the device. Then, on the field, the firmware could use the embedded key to decrypt those assets, or it could also encrypt it some other data if needed. Our hacker will exploit again a weakness and will extract the code. But the embedded asset has been encrypted, and as there is no way to recover the key which was used to encrypt them, this time the hacker won't be able to leak the data on the firmware. But if the hacker has some production capability, he will be able to produce again some clone device. An additional property of this peer provision key is needed to address this problematic, and I guess you already found it. If the pre provision secret key is unique per device, then any asset encrypted in one MCU can be decrypted on another one. Thanks to the unicity of the pre provision key, now the asset encrypted is unique per device. That means on the field, each device has a different static content embedded but with the same dynamic functionality for the product. So if our hacker extracts again a firmware with some encrypted asset from one device and flash it in another one, this clone won't be functional, as the key used to decrypt is not the same as the one that has been used to encrypt. I hope this previous example helped you to understand how a pre-provisioned unique key allows to address some security use case. This hardware unique key also known as HUK, is a new feature embedded in our STM32U5 with hardware cryptographic accelerator.